Hi friends, health is always number one priority for all of us. Poor immunity is a concern for this generation youth. Well, inflammation of immune cells leads to all the immunity problems. So what causes the inflammation? High stress level, inadequate sleep and poor eating habits. Still wondering why you're falling sick so often? I guess you know the answer by now. In today's video, I'm going to suggest few eating habits and healthy habits that will help you boost your immune system. First things first, how to manage your stress level. You can manage your stress level by exercising regularly. Go for jogging, walking, swimming, biking. Alternatively, you can also manage your stress level by regular meditation and by performing yoga. Get enough sleep. Sleep and immunity go hand in hand. Getting adequate rest may strengthen your natural immunity. Adults should aim to get 7 or more hours sleep each night, while teenagers need 8 to 10 hours and younger children and infants up to 14 hours sleep. If you have a sleeping problem, try sleeping in a completely dark room or use a sleep mask. Going to bed at same time every night also helps. Eating Habits Intake fruits and vegetables that are rich in antioxidants, vitamin C and vitamin D that gives you an upper hand against harmful pathogens and will help you improve your immunity. Here are some food suggestions. Onion, tomato, garlic, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, spinach and capsicum and vegetables. Apple, orange and other citrus fruits, kiwi, mangoes, watermelon and strawberry in fruits coconut water and green tea in drinks and egg yolks. Healthy fats like those found in olive oil and salmon may boost your body's immune response to pathogens by decreasing inflammation. Eat more fermented foods like yogurt or take a probiotic supplement if you don't regularly eat fermented foods. Limit added sugars. Curbing your sugar intake can decrease inflammation and aid weight loss. Limiting added sugar is an important part of an immune-boosting diet. Stay hydrated. Hydration doesn't necessarily protect you from germs and viruses, but preventing dehydration is important to your overall health. It's important to note that older adults begin to lose the urge to drink water as their bodies do not signal thirst adequately. Older adults need to drink water regularly even if they do not feel thirsty. That's all we have for today. I will catch up again with another informative video soon. Please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date.